Let's get physical, it's Jordan here back in with this week's update on all the physical releases coming to the Switch April the 15th until the 19th. Let's see what retail releases we've got. Oh, we uh, we don't have any this week. Okay, the Low Prince. Koroman is the big game this week, not that there's much to choose from, but this is a game I've wanted physically forever. It's just a pity it turns out it's by limited run, I guess I'm not buying it now. This is a super commendable monster raising game. We all know what it's channeling. I'm not going to say it, but of all these poke, I mean, monster catching games, this is one of the best, especially if you like the GBA DS era. Look at that chunky sprite work. This is fantastic for those who love choice and options. Like it even has a randomizer and a Nuzlocke mode built into it if you want to. Live in the dream, my friend. Fantastic stuff. You can order it later this week. And our executive producers, Cartoon Soren, Robotech, and Josh Foote have chosen this as their pick of the week. Nocturnal is the other Western release this week. Pre-orders are open now for Nocturnal in Europe on Picks and Love's website in a standard edition or a collector's edition which only has 500 copies available. I believe the standard will go to retail though and in North America VGP are taking pre-orders for the ESRB version which is published by Red Art Games. What's going on with these two French companies? They're like French kissing each other. Nocturnal is supposed to be a pretty sweet side-scrolling action game where you can light your sword on fire. That fella might want to check it's not made of wood because that would be a terrible sword. And you can deal extra damage to enemies with it and use it to solve environmental puzzles, hopefully not just lighting candles or your farts. I've heard it's good, but only about two hours long, which I think is, that's a bit of an issue. And our executive producers, Offone, Totally Grateful and Instacritic have chosen this as their pick of the week. Links are down below for all versions. As I said, you can get the ESRB version from VGP, and if you do buy it or anything from their site, thank you greatly because it massively helps support me. They've got some nice stuff going on right now, like reprinting some rare games like Savior Sapphire Wings. They've got discounts on limited run games, at least when I'm writing this on Saturday. You can just click any of our links and buy something. It doesn't need to be for a specific game. And of course, they have free shipping over 80 Canadian bucks, which is about 60 US dollars. And you can be in with the chance of winning a $10 discount coupon every week. Last week, the winner was Jesse T. And this week's winner is Russell J. Both of you should have gotten your email from VGP already with your 10 buckaroos. And I thank you greatly for your support. All right, let's move on to the imports. Asia recently got two releases. I probably should have mentioned this last week, but they slipped by me. I was busy. I was rushed. Both of these have Western releases in some capacity, so not like super interesting. Trip World DX is an old Game Boy game that has the honor of being one of the rarest and most expensive games for that system. Here it's nicely updated and they have added color as well as some quality of life features for those who feel their life isn't up to standards. I had the original like Game Boy version on my 3DS and I always tried to play it, but uh, the first level just like bored me to death. I couldn't get far in it for some reason. I think this Asian release is probably the most affordable way to get this on your Switch though right now because Japan is a bit more expensive and the limited run version that's like 60 bucks. So yeah, this Asian version is the cheapest one to get. And our executive producers, Parsnip Coffee has chosen this as her pick of the week. Gimmick Special Edition is the same kind of thing, old ass game, new ass port. However, it's probably less interesting overall since its western release is still cheap enough. No real reason to get this aside from not wanting to give limited run your money. This is a much better game than Trip World. It's a high quality NES game late in the console's life. Reminds me of Kirby a little bit and that is a special game. And if you want either of these two then you know please use the Play Asia links below. If you click the link and buy something you support me and you can also get 5% off if you use the code George. 24. Just remember to click the link first, guys, okay? That's what really helps me out. And Japan also has Dokyose Banging Summer CS Ver, which uh, 
is a visual novel and does not have English. And that's it for this week. It's a bit disappointing. Somebody please call Nintendo and tell them to announce the Switch Pro or Switch 2 or whatever, okay? It's getting ridiculous. All right, let's head into the community spotlight. Bunny Bear sent in this photo, picking up some imports amongst the Western releases. I'm surprised Front Mission 2 isn't a bit more popular as an import. I don't think anyone wants to pay the shipping prices that Forever Limited asked for in their European store. And it looks like a good remake from what I'm aware. Executive producer Cartoon Soren got in four limited run releases, including the Konami game that everyone forgets about, Skele Attack. They just published an indie game out of nowhere. It's not particularly great either. It's just like, you know, a serviceable game. This is Konami. Man, you remember when they used to be like the best of the best? Executive producer Feig sent in this photo with Tengoku Struggle, the latest Axis Otomi Gay. Why do they get all the fantastic artwork? Like spread it around to other genres. Executive producer Instacritic sent in this photo, as always getting in some obscure stuff like Emergency Call. I didn't think I'd ever see that in the spotlight, but uh, I should have realized, hey, Instacritic, he's an executive producer. Nintendo Gamer Gal sent in this photo, picking up Klonoa from VGP. They had it discounted for a really sweet price. It still is at the time of writing this on Saturday. It's like 25 US dollars, something like that. And this wasn't released in North America, but as I said, VGP have some in stock. Go check it out. I mean, great price for two fantastic classic platformers. Pixel Enigma sent in this photo, getting in uh, some games from Play Asia when they were super cheap a couple of weeks back. Fire Emblem Warriors for 25 bucks, that's great. Executive producer Precision Plague sent in this photo, picking up the absolute classic Lawn Mowing Simulator alongside a Razion EX, which just seems to pop up once in a while when the publisher decides, you know, yeah, I fancy it today. Robin H sent in this photo, picking up the Samba D Amigo Party Central. I am due for playing the Dreamcast version of this series in the next few weeks in my Dreamcast adventure over on A Bit More Jordan. I don't think they've actually topped the original, have they? It's just a Sega in a nutshell. They just can't live up to their amazing past. TL sent in this absolutely cultured photo of the highest quality. This is material that will last you a lifetime and one that you can pass on to your son when he becomes the man he's destined to be. Something like that. Executive producer, my man in Japan, they sent in this photo picking up a... Well, oh man, you can feel, you can feel the burn on the bank account with that Muv Love Collector's Edition. I bet the cashier had to yank the money out of his grip. I want it so bad, but no way at that price. Visipon sent in this photo picking up the visual novel that I hope I'd never have to remember the name of off the top of my head. The red light teriyaki chicken, something like that. It's really good and I'm, I'm really hungry now. Wankel Rotary Engine sent in this photo picking up the touch detective game, which I want, but damn if Nicholas didn't make it as difficult as possible. They're absolute pricks. All right, let's have a roundup. Shane L. Choco Loco James. Manji Bill R Andrew R Paul S Kevin W Liga Zero Cresselac McLaren Ashura G Crit Cat Needless Dragon Mickey McFlynn all right, please send me your pictures on Twitter if you can. DM me at so what about game, or you can use our email address, switchwatchspotlight at gmail.com. And of course, our Discord, the server link is below. You can submit it in the submissions section once I open it up. Only send me one picture per week, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed this very short episode of Let's Get Physical. Special thanks, as always, to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Cato, Jcross7776, Punky Dusta, Cartoon Soren, Robotech, Z, Raven Knight, Born Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Isa, V, Mental Traveler, Offone, Jennifer M, Instacritic, Precision Plague, Karacha, Totally Grateful, Alex M, 
Feig and Josh Foote. Thank you. Plus you. Yeah, you watching right now. If you're still watching, please give me a high five emoji in the comments because I want to know who the legends are out there. Obviously, not too many people are watching this series these days. The views have dropped down. So I, I need to know who are the legends amongst you? Who's keeping it going? Who's keeping it alive? I love you guys. Okay. Have a good day.